everyone. You've had your boat sitting for about three to four months in the winter, and now it's time to bring it out. There's just a couple of crucial things that I'd recommend doing before. First thing is you probably would want the battery to be charged overnight, so then when you're starting it the next morning, it's just gonna start right up. And then also an important thing is checking your oil level and the transmission fluid. I did that for the winterization, but it's always a good thing to check that it's on the full mark or it's not below E. And if so, just add a little bit just in case. And I always like to start my engine and make sure it's just running properly, no issues before I commit and drive all the way to the lake and something's wrong, if there was something gonna happen. And lastly, grease those bearings on the trailer. Just make sure the bearings are nicely greased when I'm driving it over there just so the axles last a lot longer. And so let's go take this boat apart and get everything checked and we'll make sure it's all good to go for the season. All right, we're currently in the boat and now I have the battery being charged. Probably want it to be charged in overnight just so it's nice and a full charge. And I also want to check the engine oil level. Just clean it off. If you want to check my video to check the oil level properly, go check that out. And just go dip it in and I'm a little bit over full but not too bad but it's not bad it's been sitting so there's no oil circulating inside the engine and you're supposed to have the engine running to check the transmission fluid but I just want to make sure there's fluid in there and there is I changed it in the end of the season so it's still sitting there which is a good thing and so now I'm gonna start up the engine and make sure everything's working good. Check the oil level again after that. Make sure the oil pressure's up and make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary and then we should be good to go. So okay. now we have the battery charged and we also have the engine checked with the oil and transmission. So we have the water connected with the fake lake. So it's time to start it up. Want to check if there's water in the water filter make sure it's filtering and coming up all the way through and then you can also check in the back to see if it's coming out of the exhaust Check my oil pressure up there and the temperature starting to go up so everything's looking good there. You also want to look underneath the engine make sure there's no oil leaking or gas or especially water because if your engine freeze you would have a lot of water leaking out of your heater core blow. It's just steaming because the engine is warming up right now and it has a little bit of condensation on it just because it's been sitting over the winter for a long time so we're gonna let it warm up just the idle for a long time let the oil warm up and we'll uh, take it on the leg after we grease the wheels we should be good to go for the season